What are the three types of lighting that you actually need to get better looking video in your church's live streams? You know, a month or two ago, I was looking for lights and I was just kind of a little, little bit, and I don't use this term very often, I was a little bit overwhelmed. There is so much information out there. And of course, looking, you'd think you can find something good on Amazon, but no, there's nothing on Amazon. And then I'll go to B&H and, and $5,000 for one light. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. And I did probably an hour and a half of research and I found this company called Pro Church Lights. They've solved all my problems. Today I'd like to talk to you about the three types of lighting you need and how Pro Church Lights actually helped us, my church out, with that. Let's jump into it. All right, all right, welcome to the Evan Didio Show. What are the three kinds of lighting that you need? Well, the first kind is wash lighting, pro wash lighting. Now, this is just straight in front of you, facing your face. Now, if you're like us, you have low ceilings. And at the end of this video, I'd like to share with you a special tip on what you can do maybe to get the best results for wash lighting if you have low ceilings. So stay tuned for that. Now, you might be thinking, well, what other kind of lighting is there, Evan? There's a lot more. Most lighting actually isn't meant just to go on your face. To get more professional looking video quality, you don't upgrade your camera, you don't upgrade your Wi-Fi, you upgrade your lighting. And that's not just what lighting is facing your face or your pastor's face. It is also what's behind you, what's beside you, and we're going to be talking about that in this video, so stay tuned. But now you're seeing some video without these lights in the live stream. So this is what it looks like without the lights, the Pro Church lights on the website. What we were using before was some LED PARs, I believe. Not very good. Um, they're pretty bright, but not as good as these. Now you're seeing the live stream, how it looks with the Pro Church lights. I'm telling you what, it's a huge difference. It looks fantastic really fills in the face because it's important that the subject is brighter than the background and that's really what I was going for with this. Pro Church Lighting has the best light for fixing your Pro Wash. Again, wash is just right in front of you. Now, if you're wondering about price and specs, this Pro Wash is 200 watts. Looking at my info paper here, 200 watts. It has approximately 100,000 hours on it and it comes in at around 395 US dollars. That might seem like a lot to you. If you're, especially if you're a small church like we were, you might be thinking, whoa, that's a lot for a light. And it actually isn't. That's not bad at all when you start comparing it with other lights on the market at this quality. Because the build quality is fantastic. I took it out to the church, did several hours of testing with it. Build quality is fantastic. Light quality is fantastic. But it's approximately 200 watts. And we only use like 30% of that. Because we don't need more than 30%. It is powerful. But the next thing you need is kick lighting. What is kick lighting, Evan? coming from up underneath, kind of lighting, I guess you could say underneath your elbow, or that's more of our next type of lighting up there, but kick lighting is coming up from underneath. Okay, 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 okay. To be real honest, kick lighting, that's more of my definition of kick lighting. Um, kick lighting is actually accent lighting. If you Google it, it's kind of like just extra light in a room, adds color, or is a little bit brighter than your main light. But I like defining it that way, because it just makes sense. I mean, you know, kick from up underneath. Just makes sense. Let's get back into the video. And if you look at this mock-up that Pro Church Lights actually did for us for free, and they might do the exact same thing for you, hint, hint, wink, wink, link in the description, <laughs> you'll see that there are lights on the ground kicking up at whoever is on the stage. This is a powerful kind of light to really separate your speaker or your subject from the background. Now, Pro Church Lights actually has something great for getting good kick lighting. Here is what they call the Pro Kick Light. It's full RGBW color mixing. It's got soft light, color changing, because it's RGB, so that means you can do any color. Also a pure white. Flicker free, of course, so on camera you don't see any flickering. And it is also 200 watts coming in at 395 as well. Now both of these lights actually come in black and in white, so to match your ceiling, some churches actually like getting the white one, which looks pretty cool. Now in just a second, I'm gonna share with you the third kind of lighting, but first, please like this video and comment below what lights are you using right now? I want to know. Let me know in the comments section below what kind of lights you're using. And also subscribe to this YouTube channel for more media tips and tools for growing your reach with YouTube and online social media and other platforms. All right, but the third kind of lighting is backlighting. So backlighting is kind of what it sounds like lighting from the back. This is also hair lighting, whatever you want to call it. It's lighting from the back. It could be a little bit at the side if you want it to, like that light right there. 
That's a little bit more to the side, but it is kind of filling in the shadows over here. And that's something powerful about backlighting because it really separates you from the background, it kind of gets a little bit of light on your hair too sometimes if you do it right on stage. And it kind of, especially if you use colored lighting, it'll light up kind of like the back of your head or so with a different type of color. So very powerful. And if you don't have good lighting, it's kind of going to make the viewer feel trapped or in a smaller space, it's not going to be as welcoming and it might even turn viewers off. You know, after 2020, a year of a pandemic, I, almost everyone's been online and a lot of people haven't been succeeding online because the viewer feels trapped and it doesn't, doesn't feel like a secure place where they feel safe to listen to you. So having good lighting is essential for building trust with someone online. Now, in just a second, I'd like to share with you that extra tip that I promised you at the beginning of this video. First, again, answer the question of the day. What lights are you using right now? Put it in the comment section below. Are you using the sun? I mean, hey, it's, it's a free source. And remember, if your videos look shady, it's less likely that people are going to watch it. It's more of a lighting pun there, but you know, it works. And also remember Pro Church Light's hot swap setup. If something goes wrong with the light, they will send you a new one. You pack your light up, send it to them, and it's that simple. Like seriously, you can easily return your old fixtures. Very little hassle if there is something that's wrong, but so far nothing has been wrong for us. They've been going great. So now you want to know, okay, I have low ceilings. How can I get better wash lighting? in a small, small space. One thing that I thought of whenever I was putting this up, because we had to think of something, there was a big shadow on the back wall, and I, I don't want that there. I want the back wall to be clean. But because our ceilings are so low, it's hard to shoot down, down and at the subject. That would kind of make the shadow hit the floor more, and instead of the back wall. But because we didn't have that space, we moved them to the sides of the sanctuary. So instead of shooting straight on, we're shooting like this. And that moved the shadow from on the back wall to on the like way over in the corner that nobody's going to see. So that tremendously helped. And I hope that this video helped you. Let me know in the comments, are you looking into Pro Church Lights? I highly recommend them. So thank you all of you at Pro Church Lights for all that you're doing here in the U.S. Like, comment, subscribe, ding that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video and go live, which is about once or twice a week. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.